Hello viewers, welcome back to class. You are welcome to Master Data's Online Academy. If you are new in this channel, do consider subscribing to our channel and ensure that you turn on the post notification bell for more exciting videos. Now guys, don't forget our policy. Anytime you are set to watch and to learn new concepts from our platform, do not skip any part of the video. And also, anytime you are set to learn and to watch from our platform, do not entertain any form of distraction. This is for your own good. And if at the end of watching this video, you have questions to ask, guys, don't hesitate. Slide down to the comment section and make your question known to us. We will attend to your question to your satisfaction. Now, if this is taken, let's get to the business of the day. On the board, we have problem three. We have an ASIA here asked. An ASIA compressive load of 100 kN is applied eccentrically. We said earlier that a system can either be loaded concentrically or eccentrically. Loaded eccentrically on a column 300 mm by 300 mm with the eccentricity being 50 mm along one axis. Now, determine the total stress and sketch the axial stress Comma, bend this stress and total stress diagrams. This is the question. So we put down our solution. Now, from this question that we have here, we will draw a column. Let's assume this is a column. And now this is the neutral axis of the column. Okay? And now when a system is loaded at the neutral axis, that is when we have concentric loading and in that case eccentricity is zero so what is eccentricity guys eccentricity is the what the distance between the what the neutral axis and the point of application of the load it is the what the separation between the application the point of application of the load and the neutral axis so anytime the load is acting directly at the neutral axis eccentricity is zero and when the eccentricity is zero, there is no bending stress. So bending stress only occur in a system with that is not loaded at the what neutral axis. So anytime there exists eccentricity, we have bending stress. And when the system is loaded at the neutral axis, bending stress is zero. So you only have an axial stress. An axial stress is a stress that is constituted by an axial load. Are you there? Now, if an axial stress is a stress that is constituted by an axial load, therefore a bending stress is a stress that is constituted by a bending moment. So there has to be a bending moment for there to be a bending stress. And there cannot be bending moment if there is no distance. Because we said that moment is what? Force multiplied by what? The perpendicular distance. Now, let's look at this question. We were told that this question, this system is loaded eccentrically. That is to say that there is eccentricity of the load from the neutral axis. So if this is the neutral axis, then the load may have been acting at a point this way. So between this neutral axis and this guy is where we have the eccentricity. And the load is 100 kN. Now similarly, if this is the neutral axis, the load is acting here. And this is equally 100 and based on the question that we have, this is compressive load. And compressive load is a load that is entering the system that tends to compress or reduce the length of the system. Are we there? So, if these are the compressive stress that are acting on this system at an eccentricity, at an eccentricity each. Now, what is the eccentricity? Eccentricity here is given to be 50 millimeter. And 50 millimeter is exactly the same thing, 0.5 meters. All you do is to divide this guy by 1,000. Then we have the column size. This is the size of the column. A square column, which is what the cross-sectional area of the column. This is 30, 300 millimeter by 300 millimeters. And by extension, we have that B is equal to 300 millimeters which is same thing as 0 0.3 meter and the depth, this is B, this is D and the depth 
is equal to 300 millimeters, which is same thing as 0 0.3 meters. When you convert from millimeter to meter, you simply divide the given value by 1,000. Now we have converted all the values in millimeters to meters. Now we were equally given a, an axial load of 100 kilo newton. Now, the next thing is, we are asked to calculate the total stress. Now, what is the total stress? Now that we have eccentricity, then the total stress will have given us total stress. Total stress. This will have given us S is equal, total stress is equal to what? The primary stress plus or minus the secondary stress. Now, the primary stress is, is known as the what? The axial stress, while the secondary stress is equally known as what? The bending stress. Okay? Now, now what is the primary stress? The primary stress, which is the axial stress, is the load over cross-sectional area. And the cross-sectional area here would have the what? B multiplied by D. Then finally, when we substitute into this equation, we will have had this as 100 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 newton. Understand that every time you are solving a load in kilonewton, you must convert to each equivalent newton. So you will need to convert to each equivalent newton. So to remove kilo from this result, we introduce 1000. Then all over, what are the dimensions of the what? The cross sectional area of the column? 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3. To 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3. And this will have given us meter squared. Then finally, the primary stress, which is the same thing as the axial stress, will have given us 1.11 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 6 newton per meter square. Now, you can equally call this as 1.11 mega pascal. This is the primary stress. And we know that for us to be able to calculate the total stress as required from the question, we equally need to know what is the bending stress. Or the secondary stress. Now, for the secondary stress, we have that the secondary stress is equal to what? Moment over station modulus. And moment will be what? The applied load multiplied by eccentricity all over what? The station modulus. And now, let's calculate for the session modulus very quickly. We know that the session modulus for any session, either a rectangular or a square session, is B, D squared over 6 and this guy would have given us 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 square over 6 and by so doing this guy would have given us 0 0.0045 meter cube this is the session modulus now what about the moment we can equally find the moment which is p multiplied by e and this is 100 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 in Newton, then now multiply by what? Eccentricity is 0. And when we multiply this out, we have this to be what? 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 Newton meter. This is the moment. Now we can obtain the bending stress, stress lesson. Now the bending stress would have been what? P over M over Z. And we already know M to be 5,000 Newton meters all over 0 0.045 meter cube. And when we divide this guy by this guy, we have 1.11 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 Newton per meter squared. And this is equivalent to 1.11 mega Pascal. 10 raised to the power of 6 is equivalent 10 raised to the power of 6 newton per meter square is equivalent to what? 1 mega pascal. This is the primary stress. This is the secondary stress. Now, for the total stress total stress we will have this is equal to we are referring to so what? which is primary plus or minus Secondary. Now, I, I know you understand how come about this plus or minus. We know that moment can either be positive 
or negative, or it can either be saggy or hockey. So we are not actually sure of the type of moment that is constituted here. And that's the reason why we are making considering the fact that this moment can either be a hoggy moment or a saggy moment. Now, therefore, the total stress would have given us 1.11 plus or minus 1.11 or mega pascal. Now, first, total stress 1 would have given us 1.11 plus 1.11. And this will give us 2.22 mega pascal. First is to use plus, then the second is to use minus. 1.11 minus 1.11. And this will have given us 0, 0.0 mega pascal. So, guys, this is the total stress for this particular question. So, the next is we are asked to what? Sketch. The axial stress, which is the same thing as what well, the primary stress, then the bending stress, which is the same thing as the secondary stress, and the total stress, which we have here already. Now, for the stress diagram, all you need to do is to draw the neutral axis of the column. Alright, get the neutral axis of the column. So we have this is the neutral axis of the column. Alright? Now, on top of the neutral axis, remember that this section is 300 by 300. The depth is 300. So, if I divide the section into two, on top of this line is 150, beneath is 150. Then I have equal depth. So, from here to this end, this is 150. This is equally 150. Alright? Then, from here, I will trace out a machine line. And equally from this end, I will trace out a machine line. Okay, where this point is zero, which indicates the neutral axis. Now, this is it. Now, I want to plot the primary stress, which is the same thing as the axial stress diagram. All I need to do is to take my line. Just draw a reference line. The axial stress are positive stress. So either at the tension zone or the compression zone, it is all positive. So from here to this end is 1.11 mega pascal. And from here to this end also is 1.11 mega pascal. Then you join the lines together. This, this is positive, this is negative. This is what we have. So for this is the Asia stress diagram. Now for the bending stress diagram, we will equally come and draw. A reference line, a line of action. Now, to the right, now the compression is positive and the tension is negative. So, we understand that for the belly stress, we have plus or minus. So, that means this value is either plus 11, 1.11 or minus 1.11. So, first we take plus 1.11, then we will take here as plus 1.11, and to the other end, we will have negative 1.11. Now, when you draw this, since the values are the same, this will cut through the neutral axis. This is negative, this is positive. So for this guy, everything is positive. Then we have this. This way. This is it. This is the bending stress diagram. So this is 1.11 mega pascal and negative zone. This is equally 1.11 mega pascal and the positive zone. And this is what the bendy stress diagram. For oh, the total stress diagram, I will equally draw a line of action. 
Now, we have to total stress here. One is when we use the positive sign and the other is when we use the negative sign. For the positive, we have it at the compression zone and for the negative, we have it at the tension zone. So for this case now, I will count 2 from here to this end. This will have been 2.22. Let me ask you that this point is 2.22. This is 2.22 mega pascal. Now at this end, we have zero because stress, the total stress two is zero. So this is when it is zero because this is the line of action. So this is zero, one, two, three, just like that. Then I can join this point to this point with a very straight line. Everything is possible. So no negative total stress. So this is the what? Total stress diagram it's as simple as that this is the primary stress this is the secondary stress and this is the total stress now guys listen carefully when you know principles as usual when you understand principles you become a principal and equally when you understand boundary conditions you will not overstep your boundaries. So if at this guy, and guys, if at this point you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and ensure you turn on the post notification bell so that anytime you upload my brilliant content, you will be notified. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and make your necessary comment. Understand that anytime you are dealing with stresses in the system, you must watch out whether it is concentrically loaded of eccentrically loaded. If it is concentrically loaded, only primary stress is possible. Exist. Only primary or axial stress exists. But when the axial load is eccentrically loaded or the system is eccentrically loaded, then primary stress or secondary stress exists. So both stress exists when the load is concentrically loaded. When the system is concentrically loaded. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.